going to show you how you can um, merge changes from main into development and then the merge the changes from development back into main. This is a little more difficult and perhaps more realistic example of this process. <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing this all in GitHub Desktop again as usual. <clears throat> So first off, I'm going to go to the history. Where am I? Let's check. I'm on the development branch. Great. I want to select the main branch to compare to. OK, so what is this telling me? I'm behind main. That means there are changes on main that I don't have on the development branch. And there are changes on the development branch that I don't have on the main branch. So now I need to decide what I want to do. Uh, what I'd like to do is I would like to update my development branch first. So I want to get these changes onto my development branch. And then I'll think about getting this change onto the main branch. So you can see down here, um, it says create a merge commit. And you can see hmm, there's one conflicted file. Oh, that's unfortunate. OK. Um, so <clears throat> I could click this right here. But I'm not going to do it that way. And the reason is that when you're beginning, it can be a little unclear what exactly you're merging into what. And if I click here, it's probably not obvious to you that I'm merging these changes into the development branch. But if I go up here and I do it the way I showed in lecture, merge into current branch, it's going to be obvious. So at the top, merge into development. OK, I know what I'm, that I'm merging into development. And then I can select the branch. I'm going to merge main into development. So now if I do it this way, it's really clear what I'm doing. And again, it's warning me that I um, have a merge conflict. Hmm. Okay. So anyhow, so let's commit, uh, create the commit. So you see, it's just a commit. I'm not actually doing anything yet. I'm just creating a commit. And if I'm unhappy, I can um, abort it. Okay. So let's, um, I just jumped out of that for a second. I want to view the conflicts. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So now um, you'll notice it's not letting me do the merge. And that the reason is, is it can't because there's this conflict. And I've got to do something about that. So I've got to fix the problem. In GitHub Desktop, it's going to give me some options. I could open it up in our studio. I could use the modified version from development. Or I could use the modified version from main. I really like this feature of GitHub Desktop because often I know exactly which version I would like to use. Now, you might not know. Like, how, how do you know which one? So let's just hop over and we're going to open this up in our studio. And it looks like this. And it looks a little messy, but what's going on here is that um, this is what these lines here look like on main. And then up here, it's showing you what they look like. It says head, but what that means is um, the development branch at the top of the development branch. Or top, it means most recent uh, commit of the development branch. So I can see, I can compare these here. I think it'd be more helpful in GitHub Desktop if they allowed you to do this kind of side-by-side -side compare, but they show it like this. So what I see here is that, oh, they're exactly the same, except that the main just has these tabs in here. So I, in this case, I could just edit this. I'm going to do that. Okay, before I do that, I, 
going to show you hop over here so I just saw that I wanted the version that's on main so what I could do is I could do this and I'm telling Git how to resolve that just click that but let's say I didn't want to do that um, what I can do, okay, is this how you get rid, you get rid of the things with the little, you know, funky lines like that. Get rid of that. I can get rid of that. So I can do that. And now I can also, you know, maybe I'm like, oh, I don't like all this. I'll clean this up a little more here too. So I'm going to do that. So that's how, this is the file I want to merge in. So now I save it. Good. Go back here. And so now I've told it how to um, deal with that conflict. So now it says there's no conflicts remaining. Now I continue. So there we go. So now we've uh, merged. We're still in development. We can look at the history and we can see what happened. Close that so we, we're not doing a compare anymore. And we can see that what happened was I added these two files and I changed this. With, I added some tabs in there and I got rid of those those lines there. Great. So now I've merged the changes from main into development. Now let's do another compare. So now I'm not behind anymore. That's good. But I'm ahead. That means I've got some changes on my development branch that are not on the, um, the main branch. Let's check out what those are. So, um, okay, so, okay, so these aren't really, uh, changing, changing anything. I mean, these are files are already on main. Okay, great. So I know what's going to happen there. And now what I can do is, um, I can, no, I don't want to update from main. So now I want to hop on to, to get these changes into main, then I need to hop on to main and say, so when you're doing the merge, you're, you want to be on the branch, you want to merge things into. So I need to be on main. I can compare to development. You can see I'm behind. There are two commits on development that are not on my main branch. There we go. There's no problem merging these from development into main. So let's just do that. And there we go. So I need to click this here to stop, get out of compare mode. And now I can just see the history. Okay, there we go. I push that up.